No one was gonna stop me that day, no. And if it wouldn't have been that moment, it would have been another moment. I knew then it was probably my pinnacle of my career. This was a, a very, very strange day. I wasn't really thinking I was gonna get in the squads as well. I think there was a couple of squads before that where they, was, they were down to one or two strikers. I think Andy Carroll got injured and he, they literally had Wayne Rooney and Danny Welbeck. They still didn't pick me, so I kind of thought, like Roy Hodgson kind of saying, I wasn't for him. I turned up at the turning round. I thought this was lovely, to be honest. The manager gave me a big hug. I've been in hospital all that day and night with my wife giving birth, so Mauricio said, um, you need me as well. And yeah, it was, I couldn't believe it. It was a day I'll never forget. I can remember being so nervous, so, so nervous. Meeting all, all the players who I've looked up, up to, my heroes, being alongside them and becoming their teammates. The way they made me feel welcome and like just normal, normal lads. And it was obviously my first time I was with the squad. So I knew going into the game wasn't playing. So I think Gary gave me a time of when I was likely to get on. So. I was obviously made up with and I knew what I had to do, I knew I had to, to score a goal and affect the game. If I um, didn't do too well, if I didn't do something which was extraordinary, then I probably wouldn't have got called back and I kind of knew that and Gary finally said, Rick come on, and I think I got less than what he, he said actually so I was like, any chance here? Like, I remember thinking, wow oh, this is bouncing here, like the Scotland fans made it a good atmosphere, they brought a lot. And I remembered my mentality back then, it was ruthlessness and I was just desperate for a chance to, to come my way because I knew I was going to take it. And what a moment for 31-year-old Ricky Lambert. And has played just the one season in the top flight last season, how well he played for Southampton. I was in that period of my career where nothing, nothing stopped me. Ten. Oh, what a header! What a goal for Ricky Lambert! What an arrival on the international scene! Probably one of the best connections of a header I've ever done in my life. And just to see it at the back of the net was, was unbelievable. It was, I can still remember that feeling now, just, just thinking about it. It was incredible. Seeing Frank Lampard and Stevie G with a massive smile on his face because I've just won a game, it was incredible. I knew then it was probably my pinnacle of my career. It was, I mean, I could have went on and scored another 20 goals for England, but it was never going to beat that. At the journey it took me to get to that point, it was, it's not a normal story. I wasn't a typical kid who got treated like a king at a top Premier League club and I went, about it the hard way and I managed to, to go from the bottom to the top. And obviously everyone knew about me but no one really gave, gave me a chance throughout the, the years and I think that's what why everyone enjoyed it just as much as me because they could see how much it meant to me and they could see someone who they knew in me who, who managed to get the break, who managed to finally get to the top so that's what I think anyway.